How much have things slowed down even like this time compared to this time last week for you? Oh, it definitely has slowed down. I think it helps having the preseason game under our belt. You actually get to feel of uh, what it's like to play another um, competitor. But right now it's definitely slowing down, but still speeding up at the same time because now we're ramping up. Uh, this is our last preseason game, and then it comes to real deal seriousness. So, you know, it's a little bit of both. You know, you were talking yesterday about your decision to stay at Maryland last year. Was that more of a, I mean, when you sat down and made that decision, was it more of a calculated move, what's best for me, or was it more of a loyalty move? I mean, with Brenda, I mean, what was what kind of what was part of that process? Uh, I think it was, I want to say a little bit both, but I think at the end of the day, it was more for me. Uh, I knew going in that it was going to be a challenging year just because we didn't know what we were have, what team we would have, so it was just kind of like, Whatever, and let's see what I could do and challenge myself, you know? What were some of the ways that you, that maybe you challenged yourself and you saw that really pay off? I think it's just like the resilience part of it. I mean, especially when you're a new team, there's a lot of new players. Mistakes are going to happen, and how do you adapt to that, and, and how do you learn from it? So I think from there... It, your recovery rate, I think, especially my last team last year was a lot quicker, and it's going to help me here when I'm the newbie now. So it's kind of like, how can I recover as quickly as possible at their mistakes as well? Diamond, mean, now that you've had a chance to review the film from Friday, well, where are you most looking to improve on that Saturday? Uh, just uh, making more, being at the right place at the right time. I mean, just the details. Like sometimes I was rising when I should have been more to the corner, just stuff like that. Just that uh, offense and defensively, or like making sure I'm in help and not just focus on my man, just simple stuff like that. So definitely working on the details. And then, you know, offensively, we saw you play a little bit in PNR, played off the catch, obviously, you know, got out in transitions. How would you assess your performance on that? Um, overall, when I look back, I have a lot of work to do, so it happens, but it's a learning experience and I'm just trying to stack days, so I wouldn't say that was my best performance, but yeah, I had a lot, it was a lot of mistakes, put it that way. Then, yeah. You know, obviously positively, you switched on to Deladon quite a bit and, and found some success there. Just how do you think the versatility that you and K-Mac and Tiff and Fee all have will help you find success earlier on in the year on that end? Yeah, absolutely. Knowing that I can play against uh, bigger and smaller people kind of helps. Smaller people is still a bit tricky for me, but <laughs> I'm still trying to work on it. But like, um, I just think it helps being adaptable to the different scenarios. And sometimes in the game, it's not always perfect. And you're going to have to switch on someone who's not your man. How are you going to adapt quickly? So I think it's going to help. Devin, what impressed you so much or so far about Nafisa uh, as a player teammate? Yeah, I said this before. I think she's just, she's just so poised and she's always calm. No matter how, no matter what the situation is, she stays calm and she's really like, we're good. And that's a good trait to have, especially when team when people are routed up. She's like, relax. <laughs> so it kind of helps. Are you surprised, Diamond, at the learning curve being so steep, so drastic, or is this what you expected? Yeah, I kind of expected this. I mean, I knew the jump from college to pro was what it was. I mean, you see all of us young people are unfortunately getting cut it's because we don't have a lot of time to transition over. So this gap is steep and is what we signed up for and all hands on deck right now. So I'm just happy to be a part of it and constantly learning throughout the process. We have a question on the Zoom. Go ahead, Andy. 43. 45. 42. 46. Andy, it looks like you're on mute. 46. 43. There you go, yes. Good, how are you? 43. We managed to draft that. I was trying to get you and your parents in a picture together, which took about half an hour. But anyway, has there been any moment in this short period of time where you've learned something about the game of basketball that you said, wow, I never knew that. 43. Mm. I feel like if there were, it was kind of like an aha moment of anything. Like, do I have to work that hard or can I just do something easier? So I want to say yes and no. I'm learning different reads and stuff like that. So yes and no. I got you. All right. 
Oh, that's that. Just one more oh. just, what has it been like for you playing now, a little bit of chess and practice, and also someone like me, who are two really, really skilled passers, kind of above Yeah. Board. Yeah, Jess is talking to me on that one, because I'm not used to... I love my other teammates. They made great passes. I'm not going to, but just having people who had a uh, great IQ to pass those passes, I'm not used to it. So sometimes if I cut, I'll g if they don't pass it to me right, right away, I assume they're not passing it. And I shouldn't do that. I should stay the course and stuff like that. So I'm definitely learning to be more patient when it comes to stuff like that. And yeah, she's talking to me. She's like, we see you. We see you. <laughs> so I definitely can't give up on the plate easily, and I just have to continue to work. Thank you.